not need a background in acting or modeling to be in the acting and modeling industry. What you really need is dedication, a good portfolio, and an agent. First category is runway. Now take some guesses as to how much of runway model gets in the Bay Area. That is a before picture, a picture that we took in the studio. It's very plain as you can see, and this is the final product. Basically all you do, you go on set, you wash your hands, you put lotions on your hands, and then you take a device, you take pictures of it, and that's it. In industrials are basically those kinds of commercials that are the most abundant. Most of the time you'll be going in and auditioning for these kind of commercials. These commercials are specifically not made for us, for the general public. They're actually made to show different employees at a specific company. Well, this is it, yours is one of my favorite words. Why? Because long after you made the commercials and you get paid the 2700 or whatever, every time that commercial is aired in the United States, whether it's aired in Texas, New York, Washington, any of the states, you get paid for it. And you get paid extra if it's aired during prime time. Because a lot of people are watching. Who here wants to be part of that national commercial? Alright. This is what it's supposed to happen. This is where the whole class raise their hand. Of course, you get the money, you get the fame. Who doesn't want that? Well guess what? So do everyone else. The amount of competition in this industry. Wow. Now when you go to auditions, you get there and then you see a row of people, 5, 10, 20, and they all look very similar to you because they're in your same category. And guess what? They're all beautiful. And they are all after the same role you are trying to get. And the catch, there is only one role. This is definitely a message to all the girls in the audience. If you want to get into the modeling industry, to have a good time, to enjoy yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. By all means, go ahead and try it out. But if you want to be considered as a professional and get jobs later on in New York and basically have that respect, the key word here is respect. If you want that, then don't do modeling jobs like this. The representative looked through my portfolio and had nothing but negative things to say about me. You were saying, okay, I don't like this picture, and I don't like that picture, and you know what, honestly, I don't think you belong in the industry. Was she in a bad mood, or was she just a jerk? That doesn't matter. I went home that night, and I thought to myself, you know what, you don't know me. You don't know what you're talking about. I have confidence in myself. I don't care what you say. So basically, I continued working on my portfolio, and long story short, I went back to Ford, and saw a different representative, Happy to say, I got a contract with them. So this is a you have to never quit. You can never quit. If you want something that badly, you have to go after it. And take a look at this guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of that um, Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. If I saw him in the middle of the night in San Francisco in a park, I would seriously think that he was a homeless person. And yet, he is one of the six years man alive. Oh. Right? <laughs> okay, right? So my message is really simple. Don't let anybody disrespect you. Don't let anybody belittle you or make you feel unattractive. Because the fact of the matter is, you are more beautiful than you realize. Thank you. <laughs>